Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. A very unusual earthquake swarm has been occurring there in South Korea. The largest so far this year was a magnitude 4.5 that occurred um, early today, their time. There's been over 44 earthquakes, mostly in the location of Donghae, so far this year. 14 of them were over a magnitude 2.0. I did manage to find one. It's hard to get information about what's going on there. But this is a, a magnitude 2.5 that occurred on May 10th. 30 of the recent earthquakes were um, what they consider micro earthquakes, which were less than a magnitude 2.0. 30 of them. Earthquake swarms can be a precursor to larger earthquakes. The largest earthquake they've had there in South Korea was in 2016. Um, that's down over here. And that was a magnitude 5.8. Eight people were killed. Lots of damage. That was along the Yang San fault system. But they think these recent earthquakes are being caused by a um, unknown reverse thrust earthquake. And those of you that follow me know that thrust earthquakes are probably, in fact, they are the most dangerous type of earthquakes. That's where one side of the fault remains stationary and the other side rises up and sometimes causes devastating tsunamis. Because of this recent 4.5 earthquake um, there in South Korea, they raised the alert level from blue to yellow. The Prime Minister of South Korea has uh, notified the government to inspect um, buildings and infrastructure for earthquake resilience in case a large one comes. He called upon the land and science ministers and to inspect to make sure the infrastructure for power is resilient, along with telecommunications and uh, traffic signals, things like that. More likely uh, trains also. Most of the earthquakes have been within 31 miles of this location within the last three weeks alone. The 4.5 earthquake was reported at 627 a.m. local time at a depth of about 19 miles or 31 kilometers. Let me bring this back out to show you. Yeah, these are the only quakes I could find. It's an area called the East Sea. Let me bring it out a little bit farther. There we go. No nuclear um, emergencies were declared for any of the uh, nuclear power plants along the East Coast. Uh, the closest one um, is about... 55 miles or 88 kilometers from the location of the 4.5. So I don't know how accurate this is, is. I put in a nuclear power plant. We got one off over here. Um, Hanuel nuclear power plant. Um, yeah, we got, let's see, a pumping storage power plant. Let's see. Let me bring it out a little bit farther. Those are probably the two of the closest ones. All right, and let's close this image out. This is probably the closest power plant that they were talking about. Nuclear power plant. Um, yeah, someone asked, why do they always put them <laughs> um, along these areas where there's water? Well, they need water to cool. And the easiest place is along rivers and, yeah, beachfront property. All right, so let's bring this out. Okay, right there. I did find this image here of um, earthquakes of a magnitude 3.0 or greater that have occurred within 50 kilometer radius of the epicenter. And yeah, it's the same location of the of 4.5. Many of them are overlapping, so I really don't know how many 
are here. If you want to do more research on your own, I'll give you a link to this web page. It's a research page talking about the um, Hupo Bank and how the um, earthquake or actually a large earthquake that occurred years ago in Japan had an effect on this bank. The uh, 2011 Tohoku earthquake actually stretched the peninsula and earthquakes that uh, basically never occurred on the uh, southeast portion of South Korea um, started to happen. So as you know, and I've been talking about this, how um, we got some major earth changes coming. You know, the plates are moving. Uh, the earth's magnetic field is weakening, creating more and more earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes where they don't normally have them, haven't had them before. And this earthquake swarm is another example of that. So those of you that may live there or have family there, what did they experience? How long did any of these earthquakes last? Yeah, 44 is a lot. Um, please post your information about that. Like I said, getting information is relatively hard. USGS isn't even listing these earthquakes, at least when I checked this morning. Yeah, I only found out about the 4.5 from EMSC. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. Uh, just like the government's doing, I don't know, um, inspecting buildings. But yeah, um, you need to do things to prepare on your own personal, you know, safety system, food, water, having things strapped to the walls. Sure, you don't have anything over where you may be sitting or sleeping. Have an evacuation plan, a plan where you may meet loved ones. And don't depend on anyone to come to your rescue. Definitely don't depend on the government to come to your rescue. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.